बिस्मिल्लाम असलकुम डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक सो वी आर ऑन लेक्चर 19 पार्ट वन ऑफ द इंट्रोडक्शन टू कंप्यूटिंग कोर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू यूज कलर्स हाउ टू डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल कलर प्लग इन एडोबी एक्स डी सो इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो द डिफरेंट कलर द कलर्स कम्बिनेशन हाउ टू यूज दैम लाइक how like how to contrast them uh, because overall your look and feel of the design uh, of the mobile app or a web application have a great impact on the user on the user and the user usability and it's also important that you know the basic foundation of every software that you want to work with in the future if you do not know the basics so and if you are trying to do uh, something using using shortcuts so uh, it will be very difficult for you so with that today we have two objectives we are going to see how to work with colors how to use different color how to import color how to use like color picker how to steal colors from the internet or from um, from anywhere and then we are going to see what are the color plugins and how to download and install them on in a site adobe xd so with that i'm going to um, go to the adobe xd window and i'm going to uh, create this web 1920 uh, artboard uh, i'm going to expand this window okay so this is our default artboard okay so okay so it uh, i have selected it it took some time because um, there are lots of plugins uh, that i use so let me uh, i i am going to zoom in okay so let me uh, first draw some shapes i'm going to draw this uh, circle hold down uh, shift key and then we can duplicate them we can also like align them so all right now uh, uh what we can do uh, you can like Uh, simply uh, select an object or shape and go to this option then you can then click any color that you want but uh, the important thing is that you can add this color to in to this collection so if this color is one of your favorite so you can add it then select other shape look for any color so for example if you like this color you can add it so this these colors are like currently adding into the this panel and then you can add as many color as you like so this is one way of uh, adding colors to your shapes um you can directly write the hex code over here or you can use the gradient colors so you can see that let me select this gradient color and let me add it so this is one way of adding colors so, uh, but you can also like draw some square and then i'm going to make copy hold down alt shift hold down alt shift make some more copies hold down uh, first you do selection hold down alt shift and there you have it. okay so now we have these squares um what you can do uh, you can like uh, use uh, the color picker so let me select the shape and this is a very useful tool uh, this icon 
uh, pick color from screen so you can pick color from anywhere like I'm, if I click and if I like this color for example this gray color so I can just click it and that color is added so once again I click it and now if I like this uh, green color I can just click it so first you have to select that shape this is I mean I often forgot it but first select the shape and then click it and you can see that you can with the color picker you can select any color so let me select this color and even I can go outside of the Adobe XD so let me I have selected this color picker let me go here and let me go to even the internet and let me select that color picker once again select it and don't know why it is not working uh, outside of I think it, it, it is just because of uh, this okay because of the screen recorder I have I am using so I okay for, for the time being it is not working but do not worry about it so I'm going to pick different colors inside uh, the color picker. or you can like what if this option is not happening you can just select this image you can copy this image and then uh, you can just right click Paste, paste this image over here and now if, if you want some color from this picture what you can do you can select this sh shape click on this color picker and now you can see that you can select any type of color from uh, this image all right so with that let me just remove this picture so I'm going to add a few more colors. Let me add the blue one. Let me add uh, this gray color. Okay, now what I can do, I can select all of them and I can add them inside my document assets. So if I click this plus button, make sure that uh, this option is selected document asset and then uh, for the color option if I click on it so you will see that all the colors appear here so this is how you can uh, steal color you can get color from anywhere you want so this is uh, one thing you can there are many mm, websites that allow you to use uh, color like uh, if I go to like color pickers or color and uh, so you can see that uh, you can choose color from here There, there are a lots of lots of color that um, you can just play with and then there are other websites that you can use uh, okay so this is that code so let me select it okay let me select this code so the code is copied and you can go here select any uh, shape go to this fill option and you can straight away paste that color here press enter and you see that you have copied that color even you can change these colors from this color palette so if I, I, I want to change this uh, color so uh, you can go to that 
right click edit and then you can choose any color that you want and that changes will be reflected um, on all the instance of those color that you have used in Adobe okay so that's that's okay so how, how you can change this option you can right click and then go to edit even you can delete it rename it um, and so you can use the gradient colors and um, like it will help you a lot okay so with that uh, I'm going to um, go back to Adobe XD um, and then there are various uh, plugins that you can use uh, and, and those plugins will really enhance uh, your color selection and color option um, so what you can do you can go to this uh, uh, option this uh, plugin the shortcut key is shift plus control plus p um, and then from here uh, I have like installed all these plugins some of them are related to icons some of them are related to colors and some of them are related to different shapes um, but if you need any plugin what you can do you can simply click this plus button and then you have different types of plugins over here you can read about them uh, you can browse through those plugins so for example if you want uh, color plugins so simply write color so make sure that internet connection is there so you can see that different type of plugin so I have like installed uh, uh, numerous uh, uh, plugins color plugins so you, you can like go for items can see that these are very useful uh, icon plugins that uh, really speeds up your uh, design process and I can say that shapes so there are different types of shapes um, plugins so you can simply uh, discover these plugins over here um, so now what I'm going to do I'm going to discuss uh, these uh, let me uh, delete these shapes I'm going to discuss these color uh, um, plugins one by one so let me draw some shapes because we are going to need them okay so let me duplicate this square shape and okay so we have these three shapes uh, let me also like uh, select them and hold down alt shift okay so we have these six squares um, so the first one is the color blender make sure that you first select that shape fill it with any color that you want so i'm going to fill it with this green color then if you uh, select them all and go to this color blender select this blend color option so you will see the different clones or the different instance of this color being copied to the various uh, shapes so this is what the color it's, it's like a very simple plugin so once again uh, if i like if i select any other color let's say if it is red and click on okay so first it says that i have to select a particular color and then uh, i have to like select all of the shapes then I, if i press this color blender so you can see the different instance of that color blender has been copied okay um, with that i'm going to try it uh, once more so let me select uh, let me undo my work let me select the square i'm going to select blue color this time 
and if I uh, select all of these squares and click blend colors so you will get the different instance the different colors and then you can add them in your assets and you can see that these colors are now available to you uh, I'm going to see you in the next part of the